Yes, my speaker finally came in. My Sonos Play One. Not not the Play One. Sonos One Generation Two, right? Not this one. This the uh, Sonos One SL, which is a little bit lesser version than the Play One. And I'll get into that. I keep saying Play One. This one's a lesser version than the Sonos One. I'll get into that, the differences, but let me just unbox a Sonos One Generation 2 and show you guys what it looks like and we can dip into the differences between this and at the end I'll give my review those are worth buying the Sonos One Generation 2 or just the One SL. Alright. I have this one in black color, right? Matte black. I don't know why, but uh, I've got this one in white. So this one will be in black. And they will be in two different rooms. I used to have this in my bedroom. This one's supposed to go in my kitchen, my coffee shop, coffee bar. But I will be swapping them around because this one will be going to the bedroom now. And this going to my coffee bar. Let's get into the unboxing and see what they actually sent. There might be rocks in there. So let's find out. Here we got the manual at the very beginning. Do they have stickers in there? I love stickers by the way. And I usually uh, like unboxing the Apple iPhones when they used to come with stickers. Do they still come with stickers? I don't even know. But yeah, just the booklet. Instruction and all of that. What else? Very nice package. Very nice package. Bang! There's a speaker over here. Premium quality, definitely. Always Sonos do have that about them. Feel very solid with the build. Okay. Wow. I actually do like this. See that? Nice matte black color with the Sonos sign at the top and touch panel at the top of the speaker as well. Look at that. Okay, I think the remaining is just the wire for this one. Yep, that's what's in here. All right, let's get into the differences and why did I end up picking this one instead of another one of this. So, I used to have the regular Play One, which I actually do love, but the only issue with that one is an older speaker. And it doesn't work seamlessly with like um, AirPlay. I don't think it supports AirPlay at all. Okay, so the reason why I actually picked this one up instead of picking up another one of this is because the Sonos One Generation 2 do have a, look at this, mic into it. It has a mic built into it, which means that this one does have like a voice control system. You can either choose to use either Google or Alexa. And this one don't. This one just have like a touch panel if you can see. Uh, you don't see like a circle rings at the top of it, which is a speaker. So that's the main difference actually between those spe two speakers. Sounds the same, work for the most part the same. And the only difference is the voice control, right? I actually do use voice control a lot. As you can see, I have a whole lot of uh, uh, all this voice control tech stuff that I usually talk to and this one will just be perfect. And since this one is going to be in my bedroom as well, it will be nice to like um, just talk to it and set up alarms, right? For um, different days, at different times that I want to wake up or just set reminders to it. That's why I picked it up. That's the only differences between these two speakers. But there is actually a Sonos One version one as well. And how is that different from this one? That one too is uh, obviously version one is uh, <laughs> the initial motor is like the older one. This one has like a firmware update and with that firmware update pretty much it's kind of like a guarantee 
to be like the speaker for the future for Sonos. That's what they're pretty much saying. As of now, there's no differences, but eventually I think they thinking of implementing certain things or adding certain features or yeah, whatever they have in mind. But when it gets to that point, this speaker will be what's worked best with that instead of the initial ones. But I don't even think um, most of the stuff uh, really things that people really tap into as much. It's just like the iPhones, right? iPhones have like all these new features all the time when the new ones comes out and people usually think they're gonna use it. They end up not using it really, but they did pay um, the, the extra amount though. Uh, this is not an iPhone video, but yeah, that's the main differences between these two. And as far as surprise as well, this one is currently 219 on the Sonos webpage. The Sonos one itself, how much is in there? I'll check that right now. So the one in sale is $199. I mean, that should answer your question, right? Would you pay $19 more for a smart speaker and a speaker of the future? I would recommend that. It's just 19 bucks. Plus, like, if you just want to buy, like, a smart control speaker, like the, uh, the Amazon ones, those are usually um, above $25 anyway. So why not just invest? In this right so yeah, this is my overall review of this speaker as far as i know they're pretty much the same speaker the only difference is the um, the voice control and also this one has like the newer firmware compared to this one so yes that's what you get with 19 dollars difference but yeah thanks so much for sticking to the end of this i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you, you learned something from this comparison and let me know in the comments below which one you would buy, which one you prefer, and which color looks best as well. Because this is very interesting, like having two different colors. Um, I don't know what to feel with that, but they look sick. Thanks so much. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. I will get into that, the differences, but let me just unbox the play one. Ah. Uh.